Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. pieces in primer, uh, what we've done, we went ahead and wet sanded them down vigorously at 400. Hey, Minnie, watch out, look. Okay. I'm sorry, I was telling uh, Minnie, the body shop girl, that uh, we can't let this thing sit on bare metal or wood because it'll scratch the bottom. We just got done sanding it with 400. And what I've been doing now, I've been going back and finding all my pinholes and imperfections in the gel coat. So if you look right here, if many could stop saying it just for a second, please. If you look right here, these are little holes that were in the gel coat when the piece was made. And you can see that I filled them in with some polyester filler. There's one right there, and there's a couple other little ones. And when you paint your piece, if you don't get rid of all these, they will show up. Am I right, Minnie? Absolutely. They'll look like an eyesore uh, in a thumb. Um, you'll definitely see them. Yeah, you'll definitely see them. So it's very important to make sure that you go back and you fill every little hole in and then come back and sand them out. The paint will not fill in those holes. Those holes are a lot bigger than you think they are. A lot bigger. thing is I don't care who made the fiberglass piece it really doesn't matter there will be imperfections in it somewhere somehow am I right yep. I have never seen a piece of fiberglass anything ever made that did not have pinholes in it very important find your pinholes take care of your pinholes and if your pinholes are still there they will show up bigger than a uh, moon crater on the earth you'll see them you will see them so what I'm doing, after I applied my uh, polyester, I take a piece of 80 grit and I lightly sand it just to bust through it, not to sand the primer, just to sand the Evercoat. And what Evercoat is, that's the brand of the polyester filler. I call it Evercoat. And then once that's done, I'll take my block, my flex block with 180, and then I sand all of the excess off to where just the pinholes are filled. And to get rid of the deep scratches that I created using my 80 grit. And then once that's done, if many could give me the 400, this is 400 and a sponge. This would be wet sanding. And hold down on that. And I'll go ahead and hand sand that. Alright, just like this to make sure everything is smooth and ready for paint. And now, these are now ready for paint. Is your side done? And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and hang them up. I'm gonna go ahead and put three full wet coats of paint, three full wet coats of clear. And when we come back, we're gonna be looking at some beautiful, nice, black, luxurious pieces that are going on this uh, Porsche. Okay, let's go ahead and wash that off. We'll get them hung up and ready for paint. So getting into the final stages of installing our uh, ground effects kits for the Porsche, you want to make sure that this stage right here is the most important stage because this is the final finish stage. And if your prep job that you're doing to your pieces is not perfect, the paint job will not be perfect. Um, like many of the body shop girls said, uh, paint will not fill pinholes. Don't think it will, they will not. Clear coat will not fill paint holes. 
The pinholes are very, very big craters. Even though they look like they're little pinholes, they're not. All right, they have to be hand filled and hand sanded to properly remove them. Um, we're gonna go ahead and hang that up in our paint booth and get those painted. And when we come back, hopefully the owner will uh, appreciate all the work that we have done to this item and of course the ground effects and uh, shake his hand, make a friend and send him down the road. Happy. We need a 10 millimeter wrench. See you later. Okay, we finally have got our ground effects and our spoiler for our 19, what is it? 87. 1987 Porsche 928 complete and done. Uh, it was a very, very big job. It was a very big operation to actually make these work. Um, I believe, what, is this the only company that makes these things? It is. Okay. I still don't know the name of the company. K-I-R. K-I-R. A-I-R. A-I-R? Mm -hmm. Now, what does that mean? American International. Okay, we'll get with that in a second there, buddy. Okay, so let's look at the finished product. I'm not really too happy with them. They came out as expected, but before we look at that, I'd like to show you a piece of real fiberglass, and then we'll move on to the fiberglass parts that we purchased. So anybody that watches my friend Pete's uh, videos on a vigorously uh, schedule knows that I do a lot of fiberglass cars. And this piece of fiberglass that we're looking at right here is actually off a 1934 Ford fiberglass kit car. Now I want you to pay close attention and see how thick that is and how solid that is. Do you understand what I'm saying here, Matt? This is a solid, thick piece of fiberglass. That's the kind of fiberglass work that should have been done on the pieces that you bought. And that's the situation you have when you buy this aftermarket stuff and you got to make it work. Let's go look at the finished product. Let's see what we had to do and uh, what it looks like painted and done. So am I slandering this company? No. What I am saying though is it's not all up to par for the price that you pay, which was how much? Uh, like 380 and it's all set. Okay, so it was $380 for everything or just the two side pieces? Just for the side pieces. Now how much was our uh, spoiler? Uh, that was an eBay special at about the same price. Okay, so he's got approximately, without my labor and my work involved, just buying the pieces, um, he's got uh, approximately $900 in what we're going to look at. Okay, Matt, you want to pull one of the running boards out? We're going to look at that and see what we got here. Okay, there you go, easily. And yeah, we got some buffing dust on here. It makes it look okay. All right, go ahead and turn it over. Let's go ahead and look at this side here first, if you can bring it back around. There you go, bud. Okay, yeah, right there. All right, so what we're looking at here, this is not fiberglass mat. This is fiberglass cloth. If everybody remembers when I was talking, cloth actually looks like a shirt that is woven together. So the cloth is okay to use on a situation like this, but I would have went with matte. Another thing is, I want you to pay attention to how thin the fiberglass is on it. That's telling me that the gel coat itself is paper thin, and when you block sand that, all you're doing is block sanding the gel coat off and going into the fiberglass itself, which happened to us in certain places. We also found out that this one was too long by a half an inch. We had to cut it down, move it in, fiberglass it all back up. And we also had right here, we had a bunch of situations where on all both pieces on all four corners, we had to add to the corner to make it flush mount. And this is our final product right here. It actually came out really good and I'm really happy with the product. But I'm afraid in years to come, the paint's probably going to shrink down from the Texas heat and the sun. And possibly due to the cheap fiberglass work on it, it's not going to stay this high lustrous gloss. But it will look okay um, for as long as we want it to look. And that's all we can do to what we got using the Wet Wet Candy Clear four full wet coats, color sand and buffing, and three full wet coats of paint before that. What are you thinking, Matt? I think it looks fantastic now. I think it looks pretty sure. good. Heck yeah. Now, we test fitted one of these pieces on there. It fit really nice and it looked really good. And I think that you're going to be happy with your product once you put it on. We also noticed that you have uh, went ahead and wrapped your car in a blue. I like that idea. It looks awesome. 
beautiful color. If you saw this car in person, you wouldn't even realize it was the same car. Are you going to go ahead and wrap the pieces that uh, we painted? Uh, the side pieces, they'll probably get wrapped mm -hmm. to match the car, and the spoiler will keep black, okay. just like the stock spoiler. Let me ask you a question. Being the owner of the vehicle and the purchaser of our parts, would you purchase those parts again if you had to, or if you wanted to, or did you learn your lesson dealing with this product? Yeah, I wouldn't purchase these parts again. So you wouldn't purchase these parts again? No, sir. Um, now, you did contact the owner, and he did give you a partial refund on some of them, and then, of course, the... Uh, tail fin here spoiler you bought that on ebay i got a refund on that too and you got a refund on that because you weren't happy with that item as well so you really came out on top by getting the refunds that you deserved and i think that you did the right thing by fighting your way through the system of getting shysty shitty fucking pieces off the internet and and wishing that they would be what you want what can you tell everybody out there about buying stuff on the internet um, and and uh, not expecting to be 100% satisfied. Uh, it's not always you get what you pay for. Uh, you just got to make sure you buy your parts from reputable companies that have a history of making good quality pieces. Really. I can say this, I'm very shocked that they even talked to you about getting any type of refund at all due to the fact that I've dealt with a lot of these fiberglass companies and usually when you buy it, it's yours and if you don't want it, send it back. And if it's our fault, then we will refund you. If not, then you can pay for the shipping back to you. So shake a hand, make a friend. Very big job, very extensive. And that is how you uh, do the ground effects for this particular car and possibly other cars out there that resemble this type of a situation. Uh, Matt's going to go ahead and get the bottom uh, ground effects. Uh, uh, you said covered in blue, am I right? Yeah, they'll be blue. Now, why wrap? Why would you go wrap instead of paint? Well, I want to keep the original paint. Uh, the uh, original paint uh, under the vinyl wrap, okay. Yeah, right. And uh, quite honestly, to do a paint job the way that I'd want to do it is just way too much money right now. Right, We're right. We're looking at $10,000. Yeah. You know, so this is cost effective and uh, it should last for a few years. And I can say one thing. It's a beautiful car. I didn't even recognize you when you pulled in. I thought it was a different person and I had to look twice. So good luck, Matt. And hopefully... Uh, you can come by and uh, or shoot us a picture on the email and I'll post that. I, I'm kind of curious to see how this tail fin here. When we got the tail fin out of the paint booth, um, we smelled not paint, but actually we smelled um, fiberglass uh, 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 gel coat. For some odd reason, it smelled like gel coat and that just is very odd, like it had a chemical reaction. Okay, and it's telling me that that's very thin. It's like paper thin. And you can tell by hitting, it's like a drum, snare drum uh, head. So anyway, there you go, bud. Good luck. And uh, hopefully everything will look right when you get it done. I'll bring it back when it's done. All right, buddy. Thanks a lot. Shake a hand. Make a friend, Matt. And we'll see you later. So we don't get to see the product done, finished, and installed because Matt's still got other things to do to his car to actually finish it out. But we have learned a lot by watching this video set. And what we have learned is aftermarket parts aren't everything that they are supposed to be. Um, did the paint job come out nice? Yes, I believe it came out as nice as it could for the parts that we worked on. Did the pieces fit properly? Yes, after very serious modifications and, 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 and work done to the fiberglass parts, they fit fine. Um, hopefully everything will work out for Matt. And are you a happy guy with the subject? Okay, he's still happy and hopefully his car will be a showstopper winner and he'll go down the road uh, happy that he is actually driving this car. We'll see you later, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, showing you and telling you that not everything is perfect in the world, so don't expect it to be because it never will be. I sure like that fucking color, bud. All right, here we go, right there, look at that. Okay. Okay, Matt, stay right there, dude. Ready? school classes don't stop till you know everything